he applied for a visa in uh, Dubai in American embassy for before last year's Olympia. They still didn't uh, answer him. They didn't deny him or approve him. And he cannot uh, apply again until this was solved. What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. So let's start this video with Bahar Tabani. Even though his future at this year's Mr. Olympia has been question mark over it. It is really unfortunate. But the truth is, chances of him getting a visa are slim. But you have got to pay respect to him for staying on his diet, his cardio, and he's doing everything that needs to be done to be in an Olympia level condition. His coach Milos was asked this question on Jay Cutler's podcast regarding where they stand in terms of this entire visa process. So uh, I have no ways around it, right? So there were some senators that were, you know, being called to, to uh, chip in and uh, nothing is happening yet. How the Choban in point 20 made it to the US less than 48 hours before the Olympia. And that was particularly the reason that he changed so much from the prejudging to the finals. Except by Rami, he was able to beat both Brandon Carey and Phil Heath at the finals. But just because he was fourth on the scorecards at the prejudging, and he was unable to cover the lost ground at the finals. That is why he didn't move up the spots. So that is part of the history now. Let's get back to Bahros Tabani. It is gonna take a miracle for Bahros to get on the Olympia stage this year. I'm sure he has a strong chance of cracking top 10 if he gets to the US. He is rock hard on that chest and shoulders area. And he has improved his overall balance as well by bringing up his quads. So let's see what happens. We are still hoping. I don't know. You know, it's like uh, I, I'm crashed for him. How's he look right now? He's looking good. I mean, he he uh, uh, gets in shape so quickly. The year 2024 is going to be a great year for the men's open bodybuilding. I hope you guys haven't forgotten about Carlos Thomas Jr., who made his men's open debut at Texas Pro a few months ago, and he placed third behind Hunter Labrada and Andrew Jacked. He could have done some other shows as well, and he could have done pretty well for his pro debut. Maybe even win that show and get his Olympia qualification as well. But he wanted to test the water by going against number 7th and number 8th bodybuilder in the world. To analyze where her current physique stands, what more he needs to do in the gym. What improvements does he need to make? So a lot of work needs to be done on his back. And he wasn't close in terms of conditioning to either of these guys as well. But sooner or later he is gonna figure things out. And with another productive offseason under his belt. Chances of him winning a pro show and getting his Olympia qualification are going to be much higher next year. That is your 2019 Mr. Olympia champion Brandon Carey, crushing his workout at Oxygen Gym Kuwait. So Brandon Carey is at a point in his career where we do not know how long is he going to continue to pursue his dream of reclaiming his Olympia title. But here is the thing. This Oxygen Gym atmosphere has changed his bodybuilding career more than any other athlete in the world. Can you imagine a guy placing dead loss up until 2016 and becoming Mr. Olympia just two years later? Yes, that is Brandon Carey and his story of how he rose to the top. He has such a beautiful physique, one of the best upper half in the top five era now. Now, we all know it is gonna come down to how his legs look when he steps on stage in November. Because that is what the judges told him last year as well. They want more detail and more separation in his lower half. And that is exactly what he has been missing in the last two years. Parsamdi aka Marcelo is turning things up as he gets closer and closer to making his pro debut at Romania Pro, which is now less than five weeks away. He has the likes of Rafael Bandao in his corner, a man who has been on the Olympia stage. So I'm sure he is not gonna sugarcoat things on what Harsamdi is gonna be going up against in less than five weeks. But you have got to admit, he does look pretty damn impressive right now. He has put on a lot of mass, especially during this offseason. And keep in mind he was being coached by Milos. This guy was never meant to be in classic physique. He was made for the open, and I hope he delivers. Historically speaking, Romania has at least two great bodybuilders in the men's open lineup. Last year it was Behroz and Rafael Kim. That year before that, we had Rafael Brandao and Sam Sandalva and Barros Sabani and Quinton as well. So it is going to be quite a challenge to win this show. Well, let's see what happens at his pro debut and how he compares with the pros. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you want to come back for more. 
Thanks for watching.